What's going on? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft here on Magic the Gathering Online dot com dot internet dot web. Seven out of eight. So let's switch over and wait for that last eighth person. Any day now, eighth person. Any day now. Okay. There we go. We did it. Oh, we did not get rewarded for our loyalty, unfortunately. I bet other people did, though. I bet they got rewarded for their loyalty. All we get was a stinking Sarah Paragon or a Nissa who shakes the world. We just did a green deck and we went 2 1. So that's satisfying, but now we're going to do something a little bit different. Maybe frantic search. Hmm. Survival of the fittest is also fascinating, but it's green. I like Urza too. I really want to meld an Urza. Also Sarah Paragon, which is pretty good. What if we take the Paragon and maybe the Urza wheels? I think Paragon's very good. I want to take the Sarah Paragon. That's a solid creature. <clears throat> the fact that you can play lands from the graveyard as well. It's pretty sweet. Oh, Mystic Confluence? Hmm. Making a good case for that Urza to come around. We could have also taken Lion's Eye Diamond. <laughs> Shoe Garner, here we are. Yeah, I'm going to take Mystic Confluence. This is early enough where, like, I just want to have this Mystic Confluence. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So... Hopefully this will turn out to be something special. Mm -hmm. Oh, a mox, a third pick mox ruby. Blink, blink, blink. Also a Jace. Volcanic Island. This pack is stacked. I mean, we're taking the mox ruby, obviously. But why is that still in there? There are two better cards than mox ruby. I get that it's red, but come on. I'm going to watch this brilliant translate in homemade jambalaya. <laughs> oh, Josh, you're a wholesome gentleman. I appreciate you. Oh, solitude? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's a good one. Man, these are some good these are some good picks. I'm hoping this soul herder comes back. Or thieving skydiver. Both of those are very, very, very okay. Solitude. Oh, Celestial Colonnade. Sure. Sure. Jambalaya is definitely my anti-food. It's very funny. It's a food that sounds good, but there's no, there's nothing in it that I can really enjoy. <laughs> like, uh, I think it's just Blade Splicer. This pack's pretty uneventful, so I'm not really... Super upset about that. We could also take Scru Oh no, we took a Celestial Colonnade. Yeah, I think it's Blade Splicer. It's good with Paragon. And we're kind of hoping Soul Herder comes back. Wow, that's a Fallen Shinobi right there. Huh? There's nothing else in this pack, really. Come on down. Welcome to... Welcome down. I wish this was a Mox Jet now. Chat, I've been awake for 21 hours. Oh my god. I'm not, I don't have insomnia, but sometimes I definitely stay awake for as long as I can so that when I try to fall asleep, it'll be a lot easier to do. It's not an Omnath. I think it's just a Batter Skull situation where I take this in case we hit uh, Stone Forge. Because again, we have like, none of these cards are super exciting. Yeah, Katie. Katie has the opposite problem where she just sleeps all the time. Oh, 
Also, here's a really weird thing that happened to me today. I got an order in the mail from Journey's End Games. Okay, it was sent to me from Journey's End. And I'm like, oh, it must be one of my like TCG player orders. No big deal. And then I opened it and it ended up being two unlimited swamps. Very strange. I haven't even opened it yet. But it's like, it's from the store, so it's not like from a person. Here's the Urza that came back. Oh, that's exciting. Wow, that's really, that's really exciting. So it's like two unlimited swamps. Pretty decent condition. And I was like, I didn't order unlimited swamps. That's really weird. So I messaged the seller and I was like, hey, I like, I found the seller on TCG player and it's hard to message sellers you don't have an order with. If you don't have an order with that seller, you can't contact the seller. So I had to like go back through my, my inbox and I've literally, I purchased from the seller before previously, oddly enough. So I was able to contact them through like this old order from like 2022. Who says 2022, 2022. And I was like, Hey man, I got this order from you guys and I have no idea what it is. I didn't place it. I don't know why I have it <laughs> and I don't know where it came from. And I think we're just taking Elspeth here. It's not exciting, but like, I, I think like Jeskai is probably going to be the thing we try to do here. I, so I don't really want to splash for Lingering Souls. Oh, Weathered Wayfarer is interesting. I also just like Intrepid Adversary as a body. Again, it's another card we can get back with Sarah Paragon as well. So so I, I messaged, I, I was like, hey, what is this? Oh, the Soul Order came back. Oh my God, we got everything. Wow, that's fantastic. This is just like the last deck we played. Except this time we actually have a dual land. Um, and they were like, Hey, thanks for finding a creative way to reach out. What is the order number on the invoice? Uh, and so I sent it to him. I'll take a karmic guide. Sure. And then they're like, the order clearly has your name and address on it. The buyer is Todd Som, S H A M. Do you know who that is? Either way, the cards are paid for. So as long as like, and, and I have the invoice here too, and it literally has my name and address and it says buyer name, Frank Lepore. And that's really weird. And I don't know why. And so I was like, okay, no big deal. And then I opened this other order I got today from Dragon Parlor Games. This one, this one was for me. And I was like, okay, so my Dragon Parlor Games order should be one Portal Forest and two Portal Islands. So like a $3 order, you know? Oh, Fractured Identity. I will take a Fractured Identity over a Treachery. It's rare, but I will. And I'm not going to take... I'm not going to take Oko as hard as it is. I just don't want to be splashing for a third color here when Fractured Identity is pretty good. Yeah, I'm just going to have to take a Fractured Identity and feel and feel fine about it, I guess. Oh, Spar's Headquarters. That's interesting. If the Oko wheels, we got a Spar's Headquarters. It's not going to wheel. So I opened my Dragon Parlor Games order. And it was another unlimited swamp. It wasn't the thing I ordered. It wasn't the order that I placed on August 19th. It was another unlimited swamp. And at this point, I'm a little freaked out. So I messaged them as well. And I don't, they haven't responded yet, so we'll see what they say. But honestly, kind of weird. I think it's just Urza here. So now I have three unlimited swamps that I didn't order that were all sent to me and I have no idea from who or why. So, you know, a little strange, definitely taking Teferi goes great with Sarah Paragon. Yeah. It's a little weird, man. A little weird. <gasps> okay. Okay. Now you're giving us hope. So you're saying there's a chance. Okay. So yeah, and it's weird because like one of these orders was literally from a seller that I have a pending order from. My order took was was made on 819, so August 19th. This order for the swamp was postmarked on 828. So 9 days after my order 
and I still haven't gotten my initial order. So why did I get this weird swamp first? I don't know. It's very strange. Is that possible that there's something going on in the TCG backend? Because it's it's weird to receive two swamps, <laughs> three swamps that are not mine. I'm gonna I'll message TCG player as well because maybe they have some insight. But it's really kind of it kind of creeped me out because I was like, oh okay, someone just sent it to the wrong place or whatever. But I don't know why it would be addressed to me. I kind of like Othari here, but we have so many five drops. I think it's just Chrome Host Seed Shark. I don't have a reason to splash red. I was kind of hoping to play like um, Dream Halls into like, you know, the um, Inspired Ultimatum. It might just be Shark Typhoon. That's a, that's a cheap card, right? Um... Yeah, it's just Shark Typhoon here. I don't really want to take... Oh, uh, oh, oh, I think we're taking Talisman here. I really like Council's Judgment, but we don't have very many cheap cards. And Talisman actually fixes our mana and it also ramps us to the more expensive stuff, which we have a lot of. Um, These weren't TCG player direct orders, so no, that's not a thing that's going to happen. Like... Like, these are from, from individual sellers. Uh, I will take fourth Aerolingus. That's actually insane, and that's definitely a card worth utilizing this Mox Ruby for. And there was a Dream Halls in that pack as well. And we can take this Arid Mesa to uh, to cast this. So that's kind of cool. Oh, and the Sacred Foundry. Wow, that's... It's all coming up Millhouse. <laughs> uh, I was actually hoping Lauren would come back, so I'm kind of glad it did. We also have Soul Herder to, and Sarah Paragon to take advantage of that. I do like a giver of runes. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. I'm a fan of what we got going on here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna email a TCG player and be like, hey, what's going on? Why do I have these cards? And maybe they don't know. Look at this, we did get cruel ultimatum. Still no power, huh? I re I like Guardian Scale Lord a lot, and I kinda hope it comes back, but I think we're taking flooded strand here. I would also take a Jace. So if Jace or Scale Lord come back, that's going to be great. But we're definitely taking Flooded Strand because it's a it's a solid fixer. I would also not mind. Oh, this is what we took the Batter Skull for. Fantastic. And it's nice and cheap. Yeah. Easy pick. Come on, Cauldre Complete one time. I guess not one time because we've gotten Cauldre Complete a bunch, but... Katie's going to be real thrilled because we got the Lingus so we can... We can give people the Lingus a lot. I would love a Tundra or a Hollowed Fountain, but mostly a Tundra. Cauldra complete! Wow, we called our one time and it was literally in the next pack. Phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right. Well, we got a Marsh Flats, which only gets Plains and Sacred Foundry currently. I don't know... If, if we need another fetch. We have two fetch lands. We have two good ones, Arid Mesa and Flooded Strand. I might just want to take Image. Image is very good. Copying a lot of our creatures would be good. So we're just going to take Phantasm Image. It's also a cheap card. I'd like more cheap interaction. Oh, Time Warp I like. Elite Spellbinder's nice. Rona's good. This is 21 cards. Like it's and we could just take Sunbake Canyon as well. I 
I kind of like looting. We don't have a looter right now. I'm taking. I'm gonna take. I'll take Rona. She's a good looter. Oh, well, there's a suspicious stowaway. Considering we just took Rona, we're probably not going to take that. We'll take Sea Chrome Coast. The more fixing, the better. All right, now there's going to be a Tundra in this next pack, I think. So that's going to be nice. You guys ready for the Tundra? Oh, I lied. I lied to you. I will take Magma Opus, though. I like Wandering Emperor a lot. Magma Opus is kind of cool, though, because we can actually cast it with our red mana. It is eight mana, though. It's got to be Wandering Emperor, unfortunately. There's also a Talisman that's on color. I think Emperor's got to be better. It might even be better than Elspeth. Oh, wow. A path? That's pretty good. Sure, I'll take a path. I'd rather it be a swords, but I'll take a path. Scale Lord came back. Oh, and Jace came back too. I think Jace is almost the worst Rona. Um, yeah, I'm going to take Scale Lord here. Oh, Sabine's Reclamation and Guardian of Zendikar, eh? Ally of Zendikar, rather, not Guardian of Zendikar. Ally of Zendikar. Uh, I will take a Flicker Wisp. I'll take an Adelaide. This is actually... Oh, we'll take a Sunbaked Canyon that late. That's pretty cool. The more fixing, the better. So this is 25, and I even think Batterskull is reasonably playable. So that's a lot of cards. I don't think we're an Urza deck. We're, we're this Urza deck, though. Oh, we do have Batter Skull in here. That's good. Okay, I did put it in. I think we want Elspeth or Wandering Emperor, not but Oh, Cathar Commando. Jeez, that's even... That might be better than Intrepid Adversary. No, I think because we have Lauren, I think I'm fine with having Intrepid Adversary. I don't think I like... Flicker was better than any of our existing three drops. I don't think I care about Shark Typhoon either. I wish we had one fewer five drops. I think we can cut a five drop. It's not going to be Fractured. Not going to be Solitude. It might not. I don't think it's Guardian Scale Art. I think it might be Batter Skull. I think this is probably the deck. I really dislike having one target for a stone forge because you end up drawing it and then you're like, oh, this is awkward, but I think it's probably fine. I do wish I had one blue, blue white land to search for with our flooded strand and our Arid Mesa. But we have a lot of playable cards in the sideboard. Uh, Seed Shark is actually insane. Seed Shark is one of the best cards that's been added to this cube for from from March the Machines. Like this would be this would be very, very low on my list to cut. Or a very heavy white here. Okay. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is 11. Blue, we cannot get a blue with Arid Mesa, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think this is correct. Apparently, we got an extra land here. So this is 15. This is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 with Mox Ruby. And I don't need a mountain. I didn't see like a lot of the spells. I didn't, I'm not blaming you. You're good. Yeah. Like there's so many, we have a lot of spells. Uh, Elspeth, Wandering Emperor. 
I gotta go down here. Talisman might. This counts as a spell, makes a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, like we have 10 spells, so 25% of our deck. Also, it's just a 2-4 flyer for, for 3. Ten years later. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. You know what? It's not exciting, but we got to turn to you, little gentleman. I'll hit him with the yo. Dehydrating activities occur. <laughs> She's had some stomach upset in the past two days. Where were you last turn? Little Tum Tum is right. Uh, I don't feel like you're going to get through, but maybe you will. Pay two. As many times as you'd like. The number of times I will pay two is zero. So this is going to be a planes because that's all we can get, I believe. Bunch of unlimited swamps, man. Super weird. Hey, look, we can get in there and we also gain three life. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, we can. So they got four colors out on the board right now. Well, that was a good draw. I'm actually tempted to kill this. Kill this thing. And it exiles it. That's nice because it doesn't add to the escape for, for Euro. So that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Fantastic. Oh. Are you still doing YouTube videos? Well, that's... Uh, yep. Oh, wonderful. That's going to be fun. Oh, good. We're having a good time. It might be the ghost. Oh, and a, and a Jitte. Fantastic. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Just so good. So good. Yeah, having only drawn Intrepid, Wandering, and Path, not our highest impact cards here. 
Yep. Okie dokie. <gasps> oh dear. One, two, three, four. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. We can make ten. Five, five, five creatures plus this one is six. They block two. I think we just wait a turn here. Oh, good. I'm sure waiting a turn is going to pay off well when they're tapping. Yep. Waiting a turn worked off. Worked out very well. <laughs> oh, boy. You want to wait a turn? Let's give him a card that puts five bodies on the board. Great. Yeah, I mean, this Giver of Runes is really doing doing the Lord's work here. Nine mana sources to five cards. Yeah, that's fine. I mean... Oh, actually, if they tap all these guys down, it could be really good for us. So we're going to block... And give protection from colorless, because that's an option this does. So that's pretty cool. And actually, we might have the bodies for it now. Oh my god, we could actually just win here. That's that's going to do it, right? Six, seven, that's 14, 15, 16, 17. They block a three and a two, right? Let's do some little math here. So we're going to have 14 damage in 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, and 1. They block a 3 and a 2. They take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think they, I think they only take 13 here. 14, 15, 16, 17. 18 damage. They can block 5 of it. Ugh. We're so close. And maybe we just don't care. We're at 22. Like, maybe we just let them get a Jitte activation. Look, what is this? 5, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's exactly lethal, but we're gaining three here. What the hell, right? And we get to draw another card, and our board is pretty good. Well, that's like drawing two cards, I guess. All right, well, we're going to have six here because we have no responses, but we have a good amount of guys here. The human knights having trample from the mirror tokens is pretty good. 
They can only get two counters on the Jitte, which kills one thing. Boy, this was... Well, they got another big thing that costs at least seven mana. <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to be Hornet Queen. I was going to say Hornet Queen here, but this is a lot of little creatures they got. They can't re-equip Jitte, which is good. They're killing our Giver of Runes. That seems fine, actually. Oh, Guardian Scale Lord is interesting. If we Guardian Scale Lord... What do we have? We have 12 power here, and they have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This big idiot and this big idiot. Guardian Scale Lord putting a counter on here. We can attack with this guy and put Wandering Emperor into play. So they block here. They block another 2-2 two -two here. I think this is probably... This is a real Custard's Last Stand situation, I think. And we'll get Wandering Emperor back, which gives us a nice combat trick here, because we can use it at instant speed, right? As long as it enters the battlefield this turn, you may activate it a little to be able to anytime you can cast an instant. Yeah, that's great. So that gives us an extra point somewhere. And these guys all have trample, so that extra point could be extremely relevant. Yep. 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 And yep. Okay, wow, this is uh this is really something here. Oh yeah, this this actually would kill them if they didn't double block this one. So I think they're yep, there you go. Um, fascinating. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. I think we're going to take them to one here. But literally almost everything on the board dies. Uh, this blocking order is fine. I don't really have an issue with... Okay. Okay. And okay. Now we're going to put a 1-1 one, one counter. What is this? First strike? Plus one, plus one. First strike. On here. Two. Two. One and three. Yep. Play Arona. Well, that really cleared the board up a little bit. And none of our creatures are really susceptible to a Jitte. The worst thing they can do with Jitte is gain four here. Oh, of course. Or, or play a nine mana card that makes us sacrifice all three. <laughs> oh, phenomenal. Cool. Really glad I gave it my all. Fantastic. Fun games. 
Draw two, land in Teferi, draw with Teferi. Solitude, yeah. They would have had like 19 Jitte counters by then. That's infuriating, dude. So the draws are like eight mana card, seven mana card, eight mana card, nine mana card, or some bullshit. Like that's that's kind of obnoxious. Let's bring in Parallax Wave because they have a bunch of tokens. I'm just going to submit like this. I don't think it's. And. I'm going to keep this. Anyone land and we get Stoneforge into Cauldre complete. And then we can actually put it into play. I don't think they're going to have a great answer for that. He said confidently. Any land here would be great. Except for Celestial Colonnade, which is the one they're going to give me. Beautiful. Rewarded. Plus, we do have Solitude in hand in case they have any shenanigans. Cores looking out for cores. Euro. Totally fine. Y'all ever cast a Mystic Snake? I have. I have cast a Mystic Snake. As you may have expected. Land? We're keeping it real here. Get in there. Man, this feels like a this feels like a reality smasher. You got it. I have a Lauren, which is pretty good for that. Questing beast. Sure. Nothing we can really do about that, right? No, can't block it. Um, There's no land that comes into play tapped that we want to get. So I don't know if I want a second blue or a second white right now. Hmm. Well, now I want a second white, I believe. Double white, double white. Yeah, the only double blue is Mystic Confluence. So we'll say double white. Would have liked to land there. Every fucking game. <laughs> Fantastic. Incredible. Yep. Should have played Blade Splicer, I guess. Because then we could have blocked with the token, given it pro green, and then this just wouldn't have been an issue. But now we don't have any blockers. So, that's cool. <sighs> that's obnoxious. Like... Oh, we actually should have solituded that. I don't. I was. He wasn't even thinking about it. I think we still should.
Yeah, let's do that. Sure. I mean, I'd love to, I'd rather just cast Solitude. And this is great because we get to keep our giver of runes up forever. Yeah, equip that jitte. Yeah, I mean, I think we should have done this last turn, but... I think that first game just kind of tilted me a little bit. I mean, that's just how it goes. I don't know. I'm an emotional man. I am emotional man. None of this is... None of this is exciting, so... Uh, do we want to draw a card? Probably. Sarah Paragon, eh? That just wins the game, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Passionate. <laughs> that's that's funny. Oh, it doesn't because they have Jitte, I guess, but. What is this? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can put them to. We can put them to 2, I guess. Yep. Silly Magic the Gathering trading card game card. <laughs> that was a mouthful. I'm very curious what they can have here. A concession. Phenomenal. Well, that two land hand paid off. Or one land hand with with a Stoneforge Mystic. Uh, I might want Cathar Commando over Intrepid Adversary, actually. They have a bunch of stupid artifacts that we might just want to punch in them. Punch in the D. Um, everything else seems good. I would kind of like Adeline, but I don't think it's... I don't think anything is worth cutting. Oh, Cauldre complete in the opener, huh? Well, that's a bummer. Hmm. I don't think Rona is good enough to make this hand... Like, this is not getting cast... So is this a good enough six? Can we do better than this six? Probably. And I think this definitely qualifies.
Yeah, I think we ship Mesa and go first turn Stoneforge, or or we can ship Talisman. Talismans are only blue source, though. What's our plan? We're going to go Mox, Plains, Stoneforge, turn one. And then we can go turn two, Talisman, Activate. If we hit a land. I think it is land. We have two turns to hit a land. Plus, we don't need the land. We have three mana sources here, so. Oh boy. Yes. Yes. See, we just drew the Cal the Calder complete anyway. Oh, wow. Fascinating. You got it. That's good. Let's get in there. They get to surveil one. Sure. So lucky. <laughs> oh. I mean, if we go Elspeth, pump this guy, and then pump this guy again, like, that's the game, right? That's all the marbles. Hard to say. There's an Urza. We also have... Eorlingus. We could also just Eorlingus for two and attack for nine, ten. They make a one one. And then Elspeth should lock it up next turn. Got a 1-1. One, one. Block the 5-5. Five, five. They didn't block at all. Interesting. So Elspeth should just kill you. Theoretically. Oh, they're making another guy. If they're paying 2 to do this, I think this game is over. Also, this card is a beating. Good lord. What up, the antibody? Oh, they did not activate. They just used the mana. Okay, sure. The problem is there's just not a lot of good answers for Cauldra Complete. <laughs> like, it's indestructible. I mean, that's pretty good. I've watched most of your YouTubes as of late, but this is the first time catching you live in nearly three months. Maybe you should try a little harder. Did you ever consider that antibody? Okay. Yep. Is this Elspeth just going to do it? I agree, sleep less. Okay. So that's the end, huh? Oh, man, Elspeth. 
Elspeth coming in clutch. It's Milady. Elspeth does give you wings. Man. What a beast. Well, she's not a beast. She's a humid. <laughs> Ah, oh, boy. All right, let's try again. Mover, shaker, taker is our opponent. Oh my God, I hate having Calder complete in our opening hand. This is why I always want two equipment because when you draw Stoneforge, you really want to draw a card. I don't think this hand is keepable, unfortunately. It's got all of our colors and it's got a Lauren on three, but that's it. Then we got a five drop and a seven drop. Thoughts on the rumors that Taylor said this is going to play Dazzler and Deadpool 3. I think they're... I do not think that's a thing she would do. <laughs> that seems... Oh my god, it's in here again, but at least we got a mox, I guess. Oh, we can actually put it on the bottom. That's fantastic. I'd rather have it in the deck than in my hand. Isn't that weird? Keep. Ship. I still think this hand's better. Like, we have a four drop here. Instead of a five and a seven, we have a four and a five. Got a little mox, mox ruble. And you say you say all the rumors, but I assume it's that are like one site. Like it's funny because I just googled Deadpool three, and like none of the none of the top articles are about that. Oh, surprise! Wild rumor reveals surprise Marvel character appearance. Hold on, I mean, if she's not a main character and she literally just plays like a um, like a cameo, I could see it happening. But otherwise, I I do not think she would have a a large acting role in the movie. Oh, look at this guy. As they flit through them. <laughs> oh, yes. Flit. Okay, sure. Oh man, you played your land first? That's a fool's game. Oh, you have one card after all of this nonsense? That's good. Let's draw Lauren. That's actually pretty decent because it gets rid of this guy. Um, so we can go Canyon. Talisman. One, two, three... Or Emperor. Get rid of this guy. Make a soldier. Make a dude. And you're drawing a. F I guess it doesn't. You're not. You might not draw that. Oh, we just won the game. Okay. Well, seems good. Planeswalkers, ladies and gentlemen. Cathar Commando can come in. We saw Sylvan Library, so. And I'm always, I'll always put a 41st card in when I sideboard and just not just leave it. Oh yeah, 
keep. Let's top deck a Mox Ruby. Would you guys like that? That's not it. That's not it. God, we have to play a turn three Cauldre complete like a sucker. There's a lot of things you're doing here. I don't like it. Okay. Boy, they just don't have anything to do with their fellows, huh? I like that you're getting or like alchemy con cards confused with like vintage cube cards. That's funny. Oh, we're gonna next turn we're gonna phantasmal image our Phyrexian germ token. That's gonna be a good one. Oh boy. Oh boy. What a revolting development. This might be the end, dear friends. They're taking a while to figure it out, though. They don't know what they're going to get. Wow, this is really a... This is really taking a bit. Do they... Oh, they just have no idea what to get. Progenitus doesn't raise... Call. Well, Progenitus definitely doesn't when we have Phantasmal Image. But there's also no Progenitus in the cube. But we can also Elspeth again and float this guy to deal 8 and 8, which is pretty good. Or we can just win the match. What in the earth? What is going on? They natural order, get nothing, and then concede? They're like, man, nothing beats a 5-5. Five five. What? What is happening? I am absolutely, I'm absolutely confused. <laughs> they didn't, they couldn't have misclicked because it was still on the stack. Like it hasn't resolved yet. They can still pick anything. I have, that's so, what in the earth? Wow. What are your thoughts on Starfield? Uh, I'm only about <laughs> I'm only about a half an hour in, to be honest. I was I was playing it before Vintage Cube came back up, and then I wanted to jump in Vintage Cube because I'm trying to maximize my Vintage Cube time. I have enjoyed what I've played though, so we'll put it that way. I think it's good. But I I, I don't have enough um enough information to formulate. A really in-depth opinion here. Yes. Um, I don't love it, but I don't hate it, I guess. I'll keep it. It's a bit slower, but that's okay. Oh, what up, Mark? 
No. Oh, wow. It's less slow now. That's fantastic. Oh, that's so good. Next turn, we get an Elspeth. And then any one land, we get a Solitude. And if it's a blue, we get a Mystic Confluence as well. Sure. Oh, that's a blue. Oh, boy. I think we just seven them here. And if they want to kill or bounce the blade splicer, that's fine. Okie dokie. It's a three turn clock. And next turn we get to keep up Mystic Confluence? Jesus. Oh, I think that might be the end. Budge. They're at seven? They're at six? All right, we'll just pass here with two flash cards. <laughs> what? Turn two Blade Splicer. Turn three Elspeth. And that's the whole ball game. I am confused. We literally saw no card. We saw three lands. Man, Moxes are a hell of a, hell of a card, man. Whose idea was that? Uh, this is a mulligan. This is a snap keep and we can put Cauldra back. Because this is a turn two Elspeth. Oh, I see what's going on. But we have Path to Exile, which is actually pretty good. Against any kind of shenanigans they might be trying. One... Two, three, oh, look who it is. Oh, boy. Well, they get to hit a ton of stuff here, but. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's an Embercal in there? Wow. Okay. So they get a mountain, an artifact, creature, lots of things. Okay, what did they take? They chose Library, Tide Hollow Sculler, and Mox Jet. They didn't take a land? Library? Really? Okay. So, Tide Hollow Sculler, Library, Mox Jet. Weird. Oh, library's a land. I'm not smart. Yeah, I guess they just got three there, huh? All right. They didn't take a land. They took a library. <laughs> oh, boy. Katie's trying to take the dogs out, and Wally has his toy, and he's just going crazy somewhere she can't find him. God, what a saint that little dog is. If 
fascinating. Um, it's got to be another white. We're just taking damage left and right from talismans and fetch lands and If you heard slamming, it was because I accidentally F6 before activating Elspeth, which is not, not correct. Man, sometimes I wish I had that Containment Priest, you know? All right, there's the Mox. Five mana for a Fractured Identity. Sure. Let's top deck our fractured identity, which we have not drawn once. What? Really? Sure. Deal. CD boy. He was a CD boy. So we're going to play this guy. Untap. And go to 13, play this guy. All right. Well, now we have no cards, so their Sculler is worse, and their Library is not great either with five cards in their hand, so. Fractured Identity in their deck, that's interesting. Like, I don't think we've drawn our Fractured Identity once. We did draft one, right? Boy, they're really hitting the hitting the goods here, huh? Sure. No, no, I will not. So their hand is tied all the scholar and library. Got it. Well, that is unfortunate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just beat us at the aggro game here. I mean, they just stole two of our things. They stole our talisman and our Elspeth, so that's kind of obnoxious, but... Well, whatever this is, I'm conceding on the spot to it, because I... Yep, you got it. Pump this guy to six. This is eight. Plus you attack with these two, and I have one blocker. It's literally lethal. <sighs> I kind of like Cathar Commando here. Just seems better. I mean, they have Animate Dead at, le at the very least. Um, hmm, fascinating. We got a one drop and a two drop. Two lands, a five drop and a seven drop. Ah, this is a mulligan. This is a sneaker. Let's put back probably Guardian Scale Lord. And I think because we have fourth, we're going to go get... Uh, You know, you know the one. Well, we know they have Mox Jet. Let's see if they hit their Mox Jet.
what's the hold up here? Blue crew, where are you at? I don't know what's going on here. Are we still live? Are you there, kids? Every time I have a deck with fourth Eerolingus in it, I want to make the thumbnail fourth Eerolingus because one of my one of my things is I make the YouTube thumbnail one of the most relevant cards that were in the deck, one of the cards that really shined. And um, every time it's a fourth Eerolingus deck. That's the one I want to make the thumbnail, but I can't make them all that, you know? Let's see if they can kill our Stoneforge with their chain lightning. They always can. They're so good at the game of Magic the Gathering. I'm really tempted to do this. I think it puts us really far ahead, even though it's like a really bad use of mana here. But being able to start getting cards, like our hand's not very good. So being able to start getting cards because of the monarchy and they don't have anything on the board is pretty good. No, I already used Cauldra for a thumbnail. Thank you. I, this one could be Stoneforge Mystic, though. Neon Tokyo! Thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Always good to have new subscribers in the channel, you know? Really, really good to see new faces in here. Actually, Elspeth is good, too. Oh, recurring nightmare with no creatures on board or in the graveyard. Fascinating. And we have a Lauren. <laughs> We're doing it. We are living the dream. Oh, that's pretty good. We can Sarah Paragon next turn, get back Flooded Strand and get a blue source. Oh, that's really good. Wow. Or we can just draw a blue source, I guess. Um, being able to get Stoneforge, we're just going to play Paragon here. Because I, I don't want to not get the land from the graveyard. Yeah, I feel like this game is kind of over. We have Solitude in hand that we can discard Soul Herder for if we really need it. And we're going to keep drawing extra cards. Pester Mite. Tap the Paragon, sure. Oh man, if they have Splinter Twin here, <laughs> it's going to be funny. We are well prepared for a Splinter Twin. They don't have double red though, so that's good. I kind of want to just Solitude this. I think it's fine to give them an extra card here. I'd rather just cast Solitude as a man. Rather than two for wanting myself. Parallax wave, sure. So long night token. Oh, you're gonna run my Paragon first. Interesting. Now you're gonna run my Lauren. Now you're getting rid my night token. But where are all my guys? Give me a mox here. Rona. Rona. 
Oh, but they can always just blink their own guy. Yeah, that's not great. I guess we're just going to play Giver here. And we want to keep up. Actually, maybe we Fractured Identity their Parallax Wave because it gets back two of our guys here. And then we get a Parallax Wave, right? What does it say? When it leaves Battlefield, each player returns the cards they own. Hmm. Well, shoot. It's actually fairly tricky. Uh, I can keep Solitude up. I guess we can still keep Solitude up. Just doesn't feel good though. We can't Solitude while they have Parallax Wave out is the problem. So I, actually, I think it's, I think this is correct. Look at me. I have the parallax. Pernicious dude. Have a good night, buddy. Uh, done. I will not choose anything. Could play Stoneforge if we had more mana for it. So they get another another card off of the, the monarchy. Oh, are they going to go for it? <laughs> no, they're going for something different. Interesting. They do have Zealous Conscripts in their deck, too, so I have to... What in the fudge? Oh, this is actually interesting. So we can exile our guy. And then, when it comes back, we get to kill their Fractured Identity. Is that the only one we want to do? I guess we want to exile this, too. How does this work? Yeah, this seems good. <laughs> so long, Parallax Wave. This is like some Parallax Wave shenanigans here. I like sell something else. Nothing matters at this point. All right. You get your last card from the friggin' monarch that we shouldn't have let you have, but here we are. Um, So let's get Stoneforge. Hmm. And Rona. And we'll keep Solitude up. 
It's gonna be a, oh, okay. I was gonna say it's missed a confluence. One, two, three, crackling doom. Sneak attack. Well, we do have solitude. Big Atraxa. You got it. Um, hmm, fascinating. These are your hits. Another Emrakul. Tide Hollow Sculler. Flash. There's the Splinter Twin. Well, they're going to gain seven off of Atraxa, but we get to deal five... Six, seven, eight, nine, not enough. It's not lethal. We could play Cathar Commando EOT, actually. That might make it lethal, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, twelve, thirteen. I think it's I think it's Xaxes, actually. They got Sculler, Teferi. They got Emrakul. Come on. Actually, we can Solitude and Emrakul. Yeah, that's what we have to do, unfortunately. Yep. All right, so let me... Hold on. Tide, Tide Teferi, Splinter Twin. They did not get... What was their land? Mountain... So Island, they played Mountain, so we can get rid of all the lands here. Um, Flash, Emrakul, Splinter Twin. Flash, Emrakul. They can get Putrid Imp. Flash, Emrakul, Sculler. I think these are the five. And they just played... Yep, there goes Emrakul. Beginning of Combat. Let's get rid of Soul Herder. Fifteen life is a lot worse than, you know, the alternative. Play this guy, pass the turn, because you have nothing left to do, presumably. God, stop taking the monarchy. It's my monarchy and I want it now. Five, ten. It's a lot of life they're gaining here. A lot of life. That's nice to see. Um, uh, okay. Kill that. Play Colonnade. Put a call to complete on the battlefield. Three, four, five, six. Sure. It's my monarchy and I want it now. All right, we know they got Sculler, Teferi, Flash, and Splinter Twin in hand. Okay. I am a little afraid, but the Atrax is in the graveyard. They might have, they got, they got Animate Dead here, right? Hmm. 
Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they've had this the whole game and they were just waiting for... Oh, they're getting our own solitude back. What? That's interesting because I have Giver of Runes on the board. Can I respond to this? Interesting. I don't think I actually care. Oh, you're choosing my own giver of runes. Fascinating. Well, this guy's a blocker, I guess. So I'll choose you. Give your pro red. White? Blue? Who knows? It doesn't matter. They just didn't play anything else. What? I'm very confused. Because we know they have Teferi and Tide Hollow. Are they flashing? Because they still could have played Tide Hollow. This is all very fascinating. Papa's looking for a mystic confluence here. I have seven cards. We know four of them. I really have no idea what's going on right now. Man, I felt like this draft went really quickly and then this last round is taking quite a while. Yeah, they have a full grip. Like, I don't get it. But we know four of them and they could have played Tide Hollow and Teferi last turn. If they wanted to keep Flash up, they still could have played Tide Hollow and kept Flash up. I'm just very confused. Right, I thought they were going to animate the Traxa, and then they got Solitude instead, which I thought was kind of weird. Okay, just taking eight. And I'm just going to keep playing guys, because I don't think they have, like, a sweeper. I don't actually have any idea. But we have enough mana to both Cathar Commando and cast Path, so that's got to be good enough. Flash, sure. I don't know what you could have. Triplicate. Three threes? But you could have played Sculler and still done that. <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Eight. 
and Cathar Commando just kills one of those. So we're going to have Twin Teferi Tide Hollow Sculler. Okay, they changed their mind. Man, I wish we I wish we didn't have to pitch Soul Herder, but I think it was I think it was necessary at the time. Got these three and a random card, two random cards. I, th I, I would be surprised if they tried to Splinter Twin Solitude when I have Cathar Commando on board. That would that would take me by surprise. I was also worried about our time, but we were relatively close on time, and now they're a little behind us. So even better. It's taking so long. We both have 14 cards in our deck, so that's kind of funny. And these are some decisions they're making here. What is this? What is happening? This is the same mana they tapped previously. Big Tefs. Okay. That Tefri costs five. For some reason, I thought it was a three mana Tefri. This is fine. They're hitting our Paragon. Rude. It's not very good, is it? Oh, are they going to Sculler here? Well, we're definitely getting rid of the Flyer because that actually takes us... Um, that takes the Monarchy away and I don't want that to happen. So, yeah, enjoy your, enjoy your little Pixie. I mean, we're really just looking for um, Mystic Confluence here. Because if we can Mystic Confluence, um, then we can bounce all three of these, get our own Solitude back, and like absolutely just destroy them. Phantasmal Image, we're getting close. What is that copy? Copies Tefer, no, copies Solitude. Hmm. We can use Cathar Commando to kill the animate dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We do have Colonnade, but I don't know how to deal the last three points that we need to. One, one, two, three, four, five. Um, we can play image, copy solitude,
Oh, we just win the game. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to figure this math problem out, but I'll just keep at it until you concede and then they conceded. So, I mean, we swing, if we swing. Yeah, we're definitely at a point where we could probably just alpha, but I'd rather take care of what we could. But either way, 3-0 with another blue-white deck. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on Twitch, on YouTube, wherever you're watching. Check me out on the opposite place. Be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time.